The importance of the beta program, I can't overstate that importance for us. A reason I joined this company was because I went to the website, I looked at what was Unity doing, and I went to the forums and I saw the community around and I saw how the beta users were, how involved they were with making the product. That's actually what convinced me to join the company. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> My name is Simon Shirotsky. I'm a solution architect in Bombit. We are a mobile games developer located in Gdańsk, Poland. My name is Peter Bajus. I am a programmer at Kite Games. At Bombit, we often plan ahead the development, and the beta program, on one hand, lets us to access new features and new platforms immediately when we are starting the development or on the other hand it allows us to see what features are being planned and how they can help us to deliver better games in a shorter timeline. Our interaction with the Unity community is mostly um, related to activity with, within the back reporter and uh, communicating with the Unity developers. It feels good that our voice can be heard if there's a forum or places when we can influence. Sometimes it happened that uh, we requested or saw other developers requesting features in beta forums and it actually got implemented. It's really good. Hi, I'm Simon Schlossleitner. Uh, I'm a release manager at Unity and I work out of the Copenhagen office. As a release manager, I try, mostly coordinate between all the teams we have. That means all the developers from the early stages trying to talk to them how they can make a quality feature that actually also meets the users. So we started inviting them to Unite, being able to put faces to them and just hearing how they're using the stuff, that's great. We wouldn't be where we are now without our beta users and without the feedback we get there. Unite really allows me to have this connection with developers, which is not available on through the forums, for example, through email. The ability to talk with the real developers, with the engineers and with the programmers of the systems. And there is this exchange of passion about creating a great software. Same. <laughs> <laughs> we have a very big QA team that processes all bugs we have within a few days. I mean, if it's a weekend, then it might take a few days longer. Plus, we actively monitor the forums, so everything that gets reported in the bug reporter, and often people go like, oh, I found a thing that's not working as I expected. We ask them to report a bug, and since it's also mentioned there, we internally then fast-track it a little bit. For the publicly submitted bugs, we have a, the issue tracker, which should show the progress of a bug and if there's no answers in there. In many cases, also developers who's working on a bug can answer on the forum. This depends on the personality. We don't force people, but we encourage them and many do. Well, yes, when I submit a bug, the response time is usually very quick. I, we very quickly get a response that the issue was acknowledged, we have seen it, and we will try to reproduce it. And it is not a very long time, often, to get, yes, this is a bug, and we will fix it. It's definitely open to all, and we're happy to have more and more people. It's been growing steadily, which I'm very happy with. The passionate users, the, the individual developers, the indie developers that are the part of the Unity Beta program, they are the first one to test and integrate the system. And the companies, the enterprise, which are waiting for a polished product, they couldn't appreciate more what the hundreds of developers are doing in the Unity Beta program. That is true. <laughs>